All right, flooding made for a rough commute this morning in New Jersey. CBS 2's Zinnia Maldonado live in Mobile 2 in West New York with a look at the roads there and the impact this storm is having on the area, Zinnia. Well, Chris, I mean, you've been with us all morning long checking in, and this really impacted everywhere throughout northern New Jersey. Every every town, every county we hit, there was something. Um, right now, we are in West New York. I want to show you what we're looking like. This is probably the calmest uh, view we've had this morning. Of course, it's still raining, though, but it's definitely, it's a light drizzle, nothing too crazy. You can still see there's a little bit of, a, you know, pooling on the side of the roads. They're, of course, wet and slick, um, but with that rain letting up, it's really made a difference. Now, we've been out all morning long, and like I mentioned, we've seen it all. Flooding, closures, fallen trees, and debris. Take a look. The Monday morning commute, a tough for New Jersey drivers. This was a scene in Saddle River. Flood waters taking over Allendale Road. Officials shut down a portion of the road until waters receded, but not before some drivers got stuck, such as Aiden Broderick, who was on his way to class. So I just kept going, and I, I really shouldn't have. I just went, I kept going, and it just stopped, it stalled. So I pulled over here, and um, thankfully, I didn't get stuck in there because that would have been really bad. I'm just hoping my car is okay. A tow truck eventually came to remove his car. A similar sight throughout northern New Jersey. Here in Patterson, multiple cars were left stranded in floodwaters. And we caught a few drivers trying to make their way through, but were forced to turn around. And in Paramus, this huge tree came crashing down onto a home along Allen Drive. The homeowner sending CBS2 this video. You can see a big piece of a branch poking through the ceiling. Not too far in Ridgewood, flooding and debris prompted a delayed opening for Ridgewood High School, where rushing water took over the field. And several roads were shut down nearby as they were covered in inches of rainwater as well. Now you're taking a live look. Once again, we are in West New York and we're driving down Port Imperial Boulevard. So a much, a much better sight than what we have been showing you throughout the morning. Um, definitely, though, a lot of cleanup is going to be had uh, following uh, this morning's and you know yesterday's storm, as we've been showing you. We're going to continue to keep you updated. But for now, that is the latest live from Mobile 2. Zinnia Maldonado, Chris, back to you. Okay, Zinnia, thank you.